What happens when we successfully solicit feedback, but disagree with it? There's five or 10 percent overlap in what you think and what the other person think. Look for the areas of agreement and give voice to that. That will help show that you were listening and it'll help show that you're not sort of instinctively shut down to the feedback. And then say, for the rest of it, I want to think about it and get back to you. But then you've got to get back to them. We feel instinctively that a disagreement poses a risk to a relationship at work, but it's not actually disagreement that <laughs> poses a risk to our relationships at work or at home or in any other part of our lives. It's that unspoken disagreement that piles up and piles up and piles up and eventually explodes that really causes problem. 